Hi everybody, it's Heather from Collaborate to Win, and I am here today to bring you another product li uh, knowledge live. Um, and so each week um, we talk about a different manufacturer or tour showroom or see how something's made. And so um, this week I have um, one of my uh, favorite go-tos for some really unique stuff. And their big catalog, uh, Cerid. So this company, um, I've been selling for years, um, and they have such unique stuff. So I thought this would be a good one to talk about and show you some things. Um, what I knew when they when I first was introduced to Cerid was it was a product line made overseas at. Um, a nice good level and I would put it at the maybe towards the higher end of the good level you know um, for quality and for price so that's where they kind of come in for their their price category in the good better best world I put them in a good and I put them on the higher end of that ladder towards towards the better so, um, so when I first learned about them, they were um, an import line that had like a great price point, really high style. Um, they looked to uh, a lot of different kind of funkier things and also history. So um, let me just show you because it's hard to to say so there's um, definitely lines that are Italian inspired um, co within like they have collections so there's Italian inspired there's uh, French there's Asian there's um, kind of like this bohemian metro city look um, and they do you know like the industrial stuff in there they've got um, like for shore houses lake houses um, and also like farmhouse style. So they do all of these things um, with a, a really nice look and style. And when I first started selling them, it, it is what it is when you get it, right? So when you buy that chair, it only came in that finish and that fabric or whatever. But now they've introduced a couple of lines where you can choose your finish and your fabric and that's that's one of their newer developments it's because um, most of the catalog is probably still that's the only finish it comes in or that's the only finish and fabric it comes in but some of the lines now um, the collections within have that custom ability so um, I will give you a quick tour of some of the cool things that I just thought um, I mean in a catalog that this thick there's so much really cool stuff. So, um, as a resource, you know, this is traditional French, but done in a muslin and done in a very distressed finish. So the um, the bistro table is a very distressed finish, and then you've got the um, double pedestal style too. And that's something that they're really known for. They really don't do much of any um, classic non-distressed. They are really like one of those go-tos for the super distressed, um, you know, kind of that really weathered look. And sometimes that the wood is actually recycled. They went and found a barn somewhere and like took the wood from that barn to make all of you know the, the collections for that for that table or something um, so the the Uffizi, Uffizi collection Uffizi home is one of the ones where you do get to choose um, you know you've got a million options style wise and it's one of the few collections where they let you choose your fabric you can also COM and they have finishes. Not an enormous amount of options, but options nonetheless. It's, um, you know, they have a white, a black, and a, uh, a medium brown, an antique oak, and one that's like 
a grayish green. Um, they also have leather. So, you know, so there's options. So you can customize things, which is a new development from them. And really what they're known for is, like I'm saying, that distressed look and in their painted pieces, that really worn, weathered look where they put the finish on and then they wipe off almost immediately, you know, 20% of it to really kind of make it look like an antique that's existed for a really long time. Um, and then the categories that Sarid covers are pretty extensive too. You can you can buy like every room in the house from Sarid. They even have accessories. So you can do bedroom, dining room. Um, I think they even have like kitchen stools. Uh, they even have some lighting. They definitely have tons of mirrors. And um, they've got, you know, your occasional tables like crazy. They're a great place to look for occasional tables. I also find that um, sometimes you get the foyer that's not too big and you need to put something really, really narrow in that space, they have a few pieces that are like, you know, eight inches deep, but it still has a, a cabinet look. So you get the look and you can fit it there because <laughs> you need to be able to walk by. So um, some of the fun stuff that they do is they're, they're thinking more um, European, I would say. Like European houses are not as big. European apartments are not as big. So this piece flips down to become like this tiny little, um, this space here. You can flip this part down, like they have it here, and it's, it tucks away. So if you had a tiny apartment or you know your office studio and you just once in a while need that extra space, pop those two up and you've got a much bigger table. So they have some really interesting designs that way. Okay, so I've obviously tagged this book crazy in a hope to show you some of their fun stuff. Um, again, with their painted finish, where they really take the, the blue paint off of it again, you know? So it has that look where it looks like you found it at an antique store. It looks like something that's existed for a really long time. It has all this personality. Oh, this is cool too. All right, so on top of that like really farmhouse kind of style, you've also got this really funky kind of contemporary transitional sort of octagon table. And, you know, that could go in a million places. So what I would say about Sarid is that they're surprising. When you go to the showroom, you're like, oh, look at that. That's so creative. They're surprising and creative in what they offer. And again, that good price point, you can't, you know, miss on that. So um, they do everything. They have upholstery. So here's some upholstery. And this has a very like clean, hip, city kind of vibe, but this could be like in the man's um, room, you know, your husband has his little office and whatever, you know, the dark leather. And like really fun chairs that kind of look like it, you pulled that out of a Jeep and like stuck it in your living room. So their website's pretty good. I kind of find it annoying because the product looks so much better in person than it does in this catalog, even than it does online. So if you have a chance to get to High Point, definitely check out um, the showroom because a lot of it is the texture of things, you know, because it has that distressed worn finish and it doesn't quite read that well when you're just looking through the catalogs. It's, it's so much nicer. Ooh, paper cut. Um, when you're when you're seeing it in person all right and then here's the um, amazing variety in two pages okay so you've got this really like funky cool piece with the painted sign this is like a giant console piece fun name too. been there and then across from that you've got this really sleek piece which has um, leather 
and Chrome. So it's like they're they're really different stuff. So if you have, I mean, it's really it's really different, really fun, worth looking at for clients because the price point is one of those good ones. Um, they do the table that is round for dining and stays round because it flips in to butterfly and store its own leaves. So it goes from, you know, you can seat, I forget, like six people up to 10 people by the time you open all the leaves. Um, and they have several designs that do that. I know a few other companies have that capability too. Here's another one. This is a different finish, a different base. But it does that, um, you know, it, it stays round. This one goes from 54 inch diameter to 70 inch diameter. So it's, it's one of those things that's really impressive. I have a video of somebody else's um, where we open it and close it. It's one of those things where you go, oh, that's so cool when you, it's because it's like a puzzle. Okay, so here's another piece that I just think is really fun and transitional. And I'm not doing this any justice. You really need to go and check it out. Um, oh, they've got all these great workbenches. So if you need like a kitchen island that doesn't have to have cabinetry underneath it, look at this great piece. I mean, if you're looking for, this could be in your office, this could be in so many places, but that would be kind of fun in a kitchen. Um, this is fun, um, really different. This is part of the farmhouse, the pitchfork bench. And then here's another one of those pieces that I was telling you, if you need something that's really narrow, this one is only 12 inches deep, but 63 inches long. So this could be a sofa table, this could go in a foyer where you don't have tons of room to get by and you need to have that walkway there. Oh, and here's another one. This is that other little cabinet, which you can hardly see in this photo, but um, awesome for a foyer, because it's really tiny. Okay. Oh, and I have this coffee table, so maybe I'll walk you down and show you. Okay, so more fun. This, this collection is called Ah Yes. Um, so it has a lucite arm and quilted leather. This is just really fun. Hound's tooth. They do office chairs. And I believe this collection only comes in what you're seeing it in, but then there's a few where you can change. So they also introduced this a couple seasons ago where it's like a deconstructed look where you're seeing some of that, um, the wood exposed and some muslin in the back. It's just, you know, in the back completely exposed, which is really unique kind of fun and different. Okay. So if you're shopping for something that has form and function, they do a lot of these awesome benches too. Like this could be a coffee table and then it flips up and you can store all kinds of things in there. You can put that at the end of the bed. Um, a lot of very high functioning pieces. The wall units can sometimes be hard to find. They have some for TV as well as just bookcases. So, you know, home office, also a category they cover. And here's the accessories. So they've got books, bowls, trays, uh, what else? And tons of mirrors, some candlesticks, um, pendant lighting, kind of fun. So what's nice is that, you know, you can kind of do all this. Oh, I didn't, I skipped over the Asian 
collection. Where'd it go? All right, I'm sorry. I should have done a better job of, of pointing that out in this book. It's towards the beginning, I guess. So they cover French, Italian, and Asian farmhouse. They do um, all these great little upholstery pieces and a good price point, too. It's like, you know, for a retail little ottoman, it's like $300 for one of those. It's really affordable. Uh, where'd it go? Hang on. <laughs> Here's some fun stuff, too. Um, this little game table, it's a coffee table with um, little benches that can slide in. If you've got that Adirondack house that you're doing, this kind of or cabin somewhere, antlers as, uh, as handles. And somewhere in here. Here we go. Okay. So they do this kind of zen and old fashioned, very antique looked piece. Um, they've even got the accessories to go with it. You know, so if you really have a chinoiserie kind of feel with an antique kind of feel, this is like an awesome collection. Um, really, really rustic. So they kind of cover all your bases, but you really do have to like distress because that is what they are known for. Um, all right, so since I told you that it's much nicer in person, I will walk you into my living room. And um, you can see the coffee table uh, for what it really is. Because in the photo, I knew I would like it because I, um, I knew the line well enough to know I was going to like it a lot. And then, um, you know, of course, I'm not disappointed. So I'm going to walk you over to my living room so you can see it. I just got sofas in. It's, uh, it's nearly done. Okay. And I'm getting a new curry light, which is the box over there. Okay, so let's walk you over. And, oops. Okay, so here it is. It's an oval, which is really hard to find. And you can see how much distressed wood is in here. Um, they do a lot of that and then the wrought iron is just really pretty. Lots of detail. All right, so maybe the field trip was unnecessary, but it's a really nice table and um, you know, it's it's just one of those pieces that fit the bill exactly because you know, sometimes that shape or size is really hard and a company that has a lot of great occasional pieces, it's it's one of those go-tos that you should know about and really fun different stuff. So next time you're at High Point, definitely check out their showroom. Um, and then, you know what, really quick, I'm just going to mention they have two collections where you can choose your finish. That hasn't been one of their normal things. So there are Italian chairs that you can choose finish and base. It's like a, a dining room collection, and they had some. It's tables, chairs, and a couple pieces to go with it, maybe a bench and um, buffets. And not enormous selection of fabrics and finishes, but enough. And also, Encore is another collection where you can choose all your finishes so it comes in you know the most popular finishes that people are looking for so that's Sarid thank you for joining me um, hope you learned something uh, and was inspired to uh, check them out if you didn't know them already 
um, always go visit because they got great new stuff all the time, right? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.